If you're new to ChatGPT and not sure where to start, or want to make sure you're getting the best output every time, then this is the video for you. These are the top 10 prompts or opening messages that beginners should be using when starting out with ChatGPT. From simple writing to intense debates, product comparisons and full-on mentoring, ChatGPT can do a lot. And by using a well-written opening message, we can maximize our results. Let's get going with something basic but important, right. Honestly, this single word will often be the most straightforward way to get ChatGPT to do what you want. It's a language model after all. From long essays to blog articles, ChatGPT will have you covered and is incredible at adding that bulk to fill out any word count. But ChatGPT doesn't have to write lots. Yeah, sure it can write entire novels for you, but it can also write formal emails for work or conversational text messages to friends. And it will do all this while following your guidance on the writing style to adopt and the amount of words to use. Number two, responding to messages. Sometimes replying to an important message can be daunting and often we'll sit there looking at the screen thinking, what do I even say? Well, why not let ChatGPT read the email ahead of time and help us work out a great reply? In this example, we prepared the AI to receive a copy of the email from our boss and asked it to give us some varied options for an email to send back. We also made sure to match our boss's original tone, but with some added excitement. Now we have some pretty good options to choose from, or we can simply use this for inspiration as we write our own. Next up, and one of the most powerful uses of ChatGPT, saving time by summarizing large bits of text. We can effectively give ourselves an instant summary of pages and pages of content. Then, if the summary is still a bit too complicated, we can ask for it to be explained to us like we're a child. We can then have it further simplified by being output as a concise bullet point list, meaning a complicated bit of content can be turned into an easy to understand, cleanly laid out list of key points. So whether you're looking to save time, just tackle a daunting document or simplify ChatGPT's own responses, be sure to ask for it to be summarized for you. At number four, lists. As we just saw, lists are great for simplifying large bits of text, but with ChatGPT favoring lengthy replies, I personally think that it's just a good habit to get into having ChatGPT output everything as lists, either instead of a big summary or as well as. We can simply ask that under its reply, it provides us with a concise bullet point list of the main talking points. Also, if you're at times a bit manic like me, then blurting out all your ideas for the day to chat GPT in one big block and then getting it to turn that into a to-do list can be a pretty efficient way to get organized. Next up, instead of producing lists, let's give them to chat GPT. Recipes are great, but recipes tailored to the exact items that we have are even better. Say we're running low on food at home, we can give ChatGPT a list of ingredients and have it automatically spin up some meal options for us. It gives us some pretty detailed ideas that can then be followed up for equally detailed cooking instructions. Or we can let the AI know what we have left in our drinks cupboard and get some inspiration for cocktails. Funnily enough, I checked and this isn't just limited to food. Say we've somehow found ourselves lost in the woods with a handful of random materials and obviously internet access for ChatGPT. We can get our AI friend to start making suggestions for the shelters we can make and get instructions too. A bit niche, but interesting as always to see just how varied ChatGPT's responses can get. Number six, teach me. One prompt I think most people will spam in their first uses of ChatGPT will be the teach me prompt. At least I did. It allows you to get broken down instructions for almost any skill or technique that you could think of. From video games to sporting rules, or for learning new instruments and solving puzzles, ChatGPT will go above and beyond to break down the steps required to master any skill. Teaching you an educational topic is a breeze for ChatGPT also. And if all goes well with the tutoring session, you can have ChatGPT quiz you on the topic and let you know where you went wrong. Basically, if you learn well from discussing the topic with someone or by following a set of instructions, then you're gonna benefit from the teach me prompt more than most. Up next is how to get ChatGPT to act a role. We've seen that we can get the AI to be a teacher. Now let's look at some of the other roles it can become. By using I want you to act, we can essentially get it to become anyone. We can have it act as a motivational life coach and give us really specific daily tasks to improve ourselves or ask it to be a writing critic and an expert in the niche we're after, getting it to review our current pieces of work and give us feedback. We could even ask them to help us get ready for an interview. 
simply by making them become the interviewer and go over a bunch of tough questions until we're feeling confident. It simply comes down to making it clear to the AI what role or person you wish for them to become and then giving them an action you want them to perform while taking on this persona. For number eight, we have product recommendations. A feature of ChatGPT that some are surprised about is its ability to recommend products to us. By asking it to give us some ideas for an item we're after, headphones for example, we can get ChatGPT to start work on laying out some decent options for us, including descriptions for each of them. It will even compare the products it's listing, detailing the positives and negatives. In fact, if you already have two items in mind, that works as well. By giving them both to ChatGPT, we can get some serious details on the pros and cons of those options when compared against each other. If you've enjoyed the prompt so far, be sure to like the video as it really does help me out so much. And if you have any prompts that you find yourself using regularly, I'd love to know them, so leave a comment below. I've got lots more videos on the way and some live streams coming up, so be sure to subscribe to get notified. Now back to the prompts. Next up, arguing with ChatGPT. The AI plays the perfect devil's advocate and will happily take the opposing view to you and become the ultimate debate partner. By using the prompt, I will provide you with an argument and then stating it. We can start a back and forth conversation, taking it in turns to state our point of view. ChatGPT will happily dissect our point of view, debate it with us, and then find any and all weak points in our logic. Ultimately meaning that we can use ChatGPT to ensure we're fully prepared ahead of any daunting discussion, argument, or friendly debate. And finally, this one should now hopefully make a lot of sense to you. We can turn any bit of content that we've been given by ChatGPT and turn it into something completely different by using the rewrite prompt. We can turn blog articles into video scripts and video transcripts into blog articles. Or we can turn emails into short actionable lists and entire conversations can be summarized into a text message. It's just so useful being able to start most tasks from a single point and then end up with a bunch of varied but relevant content. If there's one thing that ChatGPT has shown again and again, it's that it's just so flexible. Thank you so much for watching. ChatGPT isn't going anywhere and neither am I. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.